dictate you pulling me over for yes, a traffic sir. stop? Yes, sir. And needing to see my ID? Yes, sir. Okay, I don't agree with that, and uh, I uh, I object. Okay. You don't have to see my ID for that, and you have no right to pull me over for that. It's uh, 10.37, the store closes in 23 minutes, which means I should get there with still about five or six minutes to spare. We'll see if they want to try to bag my wine this time. Hey Google, what is the law in Georgia regarding the bagging of alcohol? Here's a summary from Sustain Atlanta. There is no state law that dictates that the bagging of alcoholic beverages is required upon purchase or at any time for that matter. Except Georgia's open container law doesn't mention bags once or anything about purchasing alcohol for that matter. Thank you! So that is what I will be uh, playing for these fucks when they try to bag my shit. And then uh, I'll be uh, letting them know this little fact. Hey Google, how many plastic bags do Americans throw away every year? According to Earth Policy Institute, currently 100 billion plastic bags pass through the hands of US consumers every year, almost one bag per person each day. Yeah, and we throw away almost every single one of those because we recycle less than 3% I think it's 1% of, yeah, we, no, no, 1% of paper and 3% of plastic. So we recycle less than 1% of paper bags and less than 3% of plastic bags. So 97% of those 100 billion bags find their way into landfills and the Pacific garbage patch and cow stomachs and your ditch along your roadside and every fucking where else you can imagine. Hey Google, what's the law regarding the bagging of alcohol in the state of Georgia? Here's a summary from Sustain Atlanta. There is no state law that dictates that the bagging of alcoholic beverages is required upon purchase or at any time for that matter. Except Georgia's have a good night. container law doesn't mention bags once or anything about purchasing alcohol. Have a good night. No. I'm not leaving. You can call the police. I will. Go ahead, Have a call good night. Them up. Our store is closed. No, no, you don't close for another uh, minutes, yes. nine minutes. And well, we I will be, be making my purchase. Customer. No, I'll be making my purchase. If you want to bag every one of them, that's fine. That's I'm just fine. telling you the law. There is no state law. You're wrong. I'm right. Thank you very much. Now you can ring me up. Period. We will be taking the next customer. Well, I won't be moving until you bring. Sir, are you forgetting your groceries? Acting? Really? No, you don't have to serve me. And the police can come and they can have me removing him, trespassing in the store, and then I'll have you written up by corporate who I've already left a message for because you're just making it hard. I drop $1,000 a month in this store, and that's revenue for Lamar County and Barnesville, Georgia, in taxes. And you want me to really go to another store? You want me to spend about $1,200 a month at Kroger and give it to Griffin? You're a terrible manager. You're a crappy manager. Where's your customer service? Well, then you're even a worse employee. Ring me up. Bag every one of them if you like. 
Call the police, do what you need to do. Come on. The acting, I'm... Oh, oh. I got the whole thing on tape from earlier and the whole thing on tape now. All I did was, she was the cashier earlier that tried to refuse me a service. No, she told me she was going to put it in a bag. And I tried to inform, no, no, she told me that was the law and she would get fired if she did not do so. I informed her it was not the law and that she could go ahead and do it and that there was no law that existed. And she then confirmed with her manager that it was the law and I said, no, it's not the law. And if you use two seconds to Google it, you would know that I'm right and you're wrong and you would not lose the $1,200 income to your store every month for me. Uh, Fucking losers, dude. You're morons and you're all going on the news and on YouTube. Congratulations. Ingles, doesn't, you want to waste. We throw a hundred billion plastic bags away in America every year, and you want to waste 36 of them. Congratulations, Ingles, and you're non-caring about the environment. Losers! How you doing, officer? How you doing, sir? You a little bit pissed off. You, What's that? You have your driver's license on you, sir? Uh, yeah. Why are you pulling me over? Because you and Ingles having an uh, argument. Okay. In that regard, you that that need you to that need that dictates you pulling me over for yes, a traffic sir. stop. Yes, sir. I need to see my ID. Yes, sir. Okay. I don't agree with that, and uh, I uh, I object. Okay. You don't have to see my ID for that, and you have no right to pull me over for that. Okay. Simply trying to make a purchase, and they have no right to deny me that purchase based on a law that they seem to think exists needing to bag alcohol in the state of Georgia. There okay. is no such law. I informed them of such, and they indicated they'd like me okay. to leave the store, okay. at which point I said, why can't you just serve me the customer service and let me purchase this $200 in alcohol mm -hmm. on top of the $1,200 I spend at this store mm -hmm. every month, which is revenue for not only your store, but taxes for Barnesville and Lamar County, okay. which is where I live. Would you really like me to give that $1,200 a month to Kroger and Griffin? And she said yes. And I said, well, you're a great manager and you provide great customer service. And she said, well, I'm not a manager. And I said, well, that's great. Clearly, you're no help at all then. And neither is your manager. To wit, I left. And now you've pulled me over. And I've got the whole thing on tape. So well, what else do you need from me? I'm recording it too, okay? Okay, so what's uh, up? <clears throat> well, what it is, it's their policy. Also, if you go in here, to this store right here, you purchase a single one, you're going to get it put in a bag. Okay, there's no law dictating that. Okay. Just, you understand we throw 100 million plastic bags okay. away in America every year? I, I understand, sir. But that's it. That's, that's okay, but do you understand that those plastic bags end up in landfills in the Pacific Ocean garbage patch, in cow stomachs? All over the place where they don't belong. Do you understand that it's a... They have a recycling place here for them. Do you understand that Americans... Sir, sir, sir please. Sir. No, sir, excuse me. This is my right to speak. You pulled me over. This is my freedom of speech. Okay? There is literally 3%. Americans recycle 3% of the 100 billion plastic bags that we throw away every year that go through consumers' hands. So regardless of the recycling places, we throw away 90%. Okay. So go ahead and run my stuff and have your thing and I'll be on my way. Thank you. I wasn't yelling. I, w I was speaking in a slightly raised voice, and I have the whole thing on tape. Would you all not be upset if you all went to spend uh, $200 in wine for a party in a store that you spend upwards of $1,000 a month in? And they ins excuse me, and they insist on bagging every single bottle, including two closed cases of wine. The wines were, the boxes were completely closed and sealed. They wanted to open them up and bag every single bottle. Do you understand the ludicrousness of that and why I would be upset? Please, do you understand that? I understand that. Okay, thank you. That's all. I, uh, thank you. That's all I need to understand. That's all I need to know is that you understand where I'm coming from and that no, we're good. The single bags gotta go. Okay, they the don't. I understand the that there's a policy, but there's no law stating that. Okay. So please run my tag and run my well, and I'm see that I'm. See what Want me to do with me? There's nothing they can do. All they can do is trespass me from the store. And I can do that. 
Okay, well, I didn't assault anybody. I had the whole thing on tape, so I'm legally within all of my rights. Okay. Y'all are being a little bit ridiculous. This is a little bit absurd. We're in a town with a little town. Of, I've been here seven years. Okay. Come on, run my stuff, please. <clears throat> Y'all have act. Y'all have about 15 minutes to run a traffic stop. We don't have to okay. Do well, so do I. I'd like to see that tape, by the way. Let me see that. Well, I can't t show it to you because it's on a little handicap. I got to upload it to my computer. Oh, but I'll do that and I'll upload it to my channel and I'll, I'll show up by the station and I'll give y'all a link to it. Okay? Sounds good. And incidentally, gentlemen, I'm not one of those cop guys. That, when I said channel, I just have a basic YouTube channel that my family watches. Okay, I'm not one of those whatever cop block guys. I'm just trying to make a purchase in a town that I've lived in for the better part of seven years. I'm a 45-year-old man spending his hard-earned income. You understand? This is silly. They're trying to bag 36 bottles of wine that are currently in cases, two of them completely sealed. This is ridiculous. And incidentally, the recycling place doesn't recycle plastic, by the way. As your other officer indicated, we have a recycling place. We don't have one in Barnesville, and the one in Griffin does not recycle plastic. So, for your information. All right, so I'm not sure what time this traffic start, st stop started, but you know they have about 15 minutes to reasonably conduct a traffic stop, and uh, it's got to be at least 10, so we're approaching five. So I may have me a court case coming up for Lamar County. It'll be a good deal, city of Barnesville, possibly Ingalls. We'll see. Good stuff here. The whole getting a little behind me. Excuse me? What for? I can sign them right here, sir. There you go, sir. There's your driver's license. Thank you, sir. All right. You're here by uh, Van from Ingalls. Okay. All right.
I need you to sign right here. Are you able to get a copy of this one of these? Oh, you get a copy of it. Yes, sir. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that doesn't work. Come on, I'm looking at top. Thank you, sir. And how long is this good for? For a period of one September. year? September. Mm -hmm. uh, then they can reissue it if they want to. And your copy be mailed to you. And uh, I need you to sign that one right here to the other one. The same location. You'll I'm sorry. Take that one off. Take that Oh, 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 I apologize. Okay, that's fine. I got you. I was like, that says uh, owner. Got you, got you, got you. And I got to sign it and give you your copy, okay? Okay. All right. Oh, and that's yours. Thank you, sir, for your cooperation. Okay, and am I going to need a copy now? Yeah, I'm going to give you one. Good deal. Well, like I said, Kroger can have my money. I mean, the only thing that speaks in this damn country is dollars, apparently. Yes, so, sir. I Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Y'all have a good night. Be Thank safe. You,